Lydia Ko takes bronze in a thrilling final round that had it all. A race too far for Lisa Carrington as she and her team miss out in the K4 500. And sprint sensation Elise Andrews bows out by the narrowest of margins. Welcome to Focus Sport, this is the Olympics News Wrap. Kia ora, I'm Shuri Kinnear and it's the final day of the Tokyo Olympics. What a roller coaster two weeks it's been, records were broken, history made and to think there's still a few hours of action left. But first let's take a look back on what you may have missed from day 16. Lydia Ko became the first golfer ever to win multiple Olympic medals on a day of high drama. There was birdies, bogeys and even a thunderstorm. She won bronze behind Japan's Mune Anami and American Nelly Calder. Just as we were starting to question whether Lisa Carrington was indeed human, the cracks began to show in what had been a gruelling week for the star paddler. In her 12th race, she had to settle for fourth in the K4 500 with teammates Caitlin Regal, Alicia Hoskin and Tennille Hatton. They started well in the epic final but just couldn't find that extra gear when they needed it as powerhouses Hungary, Belarus and Poland took the spoils. Sprint sensation Elise Andrews Olympics came to an end last night by the narrowest of margins. After qualifying 11th fastest and winning two of her three head-to-head -head races, Andrews was twice pipped on the line by a combined 0.012 seconds to bow out of the refer charge. Meanwhile, Sam Webster finished fifth in his heat in the men's Karen before being edged out of a top two spot in the ripper charge. Silver medalist Campbell Stewart was unable to replicate his Omnium heroics when the Madison with Corbin Strong, they finished 11th. But New Zealand will have one more cyclist to support today after late call-up Callum Saunders advanced to the quarterfinals of the men's Karen. And Kiwi long-distance runner Camille Bushcombe finished 19th in the final of the women's 10,000 metres. In international news, a debate has erupted over distressing scenes in the modern pentathlon after some athletes' campaigns were ruined by poor show jumping routines. Annika Shuley was in the lead after two of the five events, swimming and fencing, when she encountered the horse Saint Boy in the show jumping, arguably the most difficult component as athletes don't get to ride their own horses. He showed a little interest in jumping the fences and eventually refused to move at all, leaving Shuley in tears as her Olympic dream fell apart. As footage circulated social media, many called out how riders treated their horses and found it uncomfortable to watch. And it's since been revealed a coach was kicked out of the games for punching a horse during the event. Meanwhile, Italy topped off its stunning and somewhat surprising success on the athletics track. They clinched gold in the men's relay, the country's first ever victory in the event. It comes after Marcel Jacobs' shock 100-metre gold earlier in the week. We're taking a look at the medals table. New Zealand's record tally is now at 20 with Coe's bronze as we rank 11th. China just edges the US at the top with 38 gold medals, while Japan and Russian Olympic Committee and Great Britain round off the top five. Still a few things to go today on day 17. The men's marathon is on this morning before our track cyclists get into action from one o'clock. They continue throughout the afternoon and then the closing ceremony is on at 11. The New Zealand Herald has you covered for all the action today. Stay up to date with when our New Zealanders are competing and how they're doing with our real-time Kiwi Games tracker and interactive schedule. Plus, you can catch live commentary of key events today on News Talk ZB. Well, enjoy the last day of the Olympics and I'll be back tomorrow one last time as we take a look back on all the best bits and chat to some very special guests. I'm Sheree Kinnear for Focus Sport.